right guys so let's go ahead and get started so today's video is going to be on an everyday neutral eye with three lip options so first I'm going to start by priming my eye using max paint pot and laying low and then from there I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and blend out the edges of that then taking the NYX palette in love and Paris I'm going to take the mid brown shade and I'm going to apply this to my crease as the transition color this is just going to make sure all of our shadows blend nicely together and this is also just going to bring some depth and dimension back to the eye now taking the bronzy gold shade I'm going to apply this to the mobile lid using an elf eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pat this color all over the lid from inner tear duct all the way to the outer portion of our lid and you want to make sure that you are not swiping your eyeshadows you want to make sure that you are patting them so that it ensures the best color payoff now taking the light gold shade I'm going to flip that brush over and I'm going to apply that color in our inner tear duct this is just going to bring light back to the eyes and now I'm going to deepen our crease and add a little bit more warmth I'm going to take the deepest brown shade and apply this in the crease using a Sonia Kashuk blending brush and I'm making sure to add a little bit at a time because I do not want the crease to be a very dark crease I don't want it to be smoky I just want it to have a little bit of oomph to it then from there I'm just going to take my blending brush and I'm going to go over those lines making sure that there are no harsh edges and then taking the same palette and the cream matte shade I'm going to apply this to the brow bone as the brow bone highlight but I'm making sure to apply it lightly because I do not want a stark white brow bone color. From there, I'm going to take my gel liner and create a small baby wing, nothing that's going to be, you know, extra dramatic. And I'm making sure to apply this with an angle brush and also to apply two coats of this so that it is very black so now I'm going to take my eyelash curlers and I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara now moving on to the face I've already primed my face and pulled my hair back I'm taking Max Matchmaster Foundation in 8.5 and I'm going to apply this on a palette because I do not want to use the back of my hand so that my hand doesn't soak up the product but I'm going to take this and dab it all over my face and then use my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge and blend everything out I really like this foundation it kind of gives me a semi matte finish it's not too matte where it's drying but it's not too oily so I don't look like Crisco is on my face but yes just taking that sponge I'm just going to blend everything out and make sure I get around my hairline my jawline and underneath just to make sure it all bl blends seamlessly and it doesn't look like a mask for concealer today I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal in deep which it is not a deep shade and I'm going to mix that with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC50 mix that together with my finger and then pat it under the eyes making sure to get close to the lower lash line and then from there taking the pointed end of my Miracle Sponge I'm just going to blend that out I've also opted to apply this concealer to the bridge of my nose forehead cupid's bow and chin and once again you want to make sure that you are blending this out all right 
right so now taking that same sponge I'm going to use this with the Ben Nye banana powder and I'm going to set my under eye highlight I'm really just pressing this powder into the concealer making sure to set it in place and then I'm just kind of blending out the excess because I don't want it to be patchy or stark yellow I want it to be natural now taking my contour shade I'm going to use the Maybelline fit me powder and I'm going to first take it on a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of chisel my nose a little bit not too much but just a little bit to bring a little bit of dimension back to the face and then from there I'm going to use an elf kind of precision contour brush and I'm going to um, apply the color to the hollows of my cheeks and blend it into my forehead as well Now moving back to the eyes, I'm going to apply some falsies. This is your choice, but I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes, and I'm just applying that to um, the lashes, really getting it close to the base of the lash line so that it looks seamless and they look as natural as possible. And then using my tweezers, a combination of my tweezers and fingers, I'm just going to press this in, making sure that they are secure and they are not going anywhere. Now moving on to the rest of the face, I'm just taking a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Clinique Stay Matte Powder in Brandy and this is also going to kind of buff out any of those highlighted areas that um, need to kind of blend in a little bit more. Going back to an oldie but a goodie, this blush is called Sweet as Cocoa. It's just a really natural warm tone blush just to bring a little bit of color back to the face. And then for my highlight, I'm going to take the Lorac Tantalizer Bronzer and apply this to the tops of the cheekbones. Taking a Rimmel Eye Coal in a blue color, I'm going to add this to the um, lower lash line and then I'm going to apply a coat or two of mascara to the lower lashes, just making sure they stand out. And then I'm going to go back in with a liquid liner pen and make sure that band is blended into the liner so that you don't see the glue and all of that stuff. So moving on to the lips, the first option is a combination of Jordana's Lip Liner in Coco Loco, Max Angel, Angel Lipstick, and then also a NYX Butter Gloss on top. Alright, so moving on to option number two, I'm using a combination of NYX Lip Liner and Current, and then um, Max Ablaze Lipstick. This came out with the um, Matte Collection, I believe, last year, and then I'm going to top it off with a Dior Lip Gloss that is a peachy tone, just to kind of blend everything together. So that is option number two. So now moving on to the third option, this is a combination of Jordana's Cabernet Lip Liner and also Revlon's Lipstick in Very Hot. And then from there I'm going to top it off with Max Funtabulous Lip Glass. I think that you can tell by how I'm acting that the purple is my favorite. I am a sucker for a purple lipstick lip color. 
purple combination so yes that pretty much sums up this look i hope that you all enjoyed it don't forget to let me know down in the comment section which one you liked and if you decided to try this look don't forget to tag me in your pictures hashtag miss al cope and so yes that pretty much concludes this video i will talk to y'all later bye Thank you.